بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما للنقى العليم الحكيم اللهم اخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم واكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتع علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني بنعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين. My short talk today is about renal angiomyeloma. Renal angiomyeloma is the most common benign renal tumors. Most of these neoplasm are found incidentally on imaging and Symptomatic presentation usually does, does not exist. Renal angiomyeloma composed of smooth muscle, blood vessels, and adipose tissue. Because the abundance of fat tissue, they give characteristic appearance on imaging and are there is the diagnosed. However, sometimes they contain too little fat to be detected. This increased difficulty in the differentiation from renal cell carcinoma. Renal cell carcinoma sorry, renal angiomyeloma can be classified according to the fat, either fat-rich angiomyeloma, bull, fat bull angiomyeloma, or fat invisible angiomyeloma. To detect fat, one need to be thoroughly evaluate the entire angiomyeloma by controlling the size, shape, or region of interest. Fat invisible angiomyeloma Myeloma should be biopsied, and fat bull and myeloma require further investigation to determine whether biopsy is necessary to and to differentiate it from renal cell carcinoma. Renal cell carcinoma. If differentiation between Angiomyeloma and renal cell carcinoma is not clear with CT and MRI, percutaneous biopsy may be performed. Here, this is the radiological classification of renal angiomyeloma and according to the fat, and it is about, it is. About 5% of renal angiomyeloma have too little fat to be identified on CT and or MRI examination. It will be operative. These angiomyelibomas are difficult to differentiate from renal cell carcinoma and radiologically diagnosed after surgery. Fat bull and myeloma is, is difficult to differentiate from a clear cell carcinoma with CT or chemical shift imaging. Fat invisible and myeloma is difficult to differentiate from non clear cell renal cell carcinoma, particularly the <coughs> Babillary renal cell carcinoma. Here we have three types fat rich, fat bull, and fat invisible. Fat rich angiomyeloma is hyperechoic on ultrasound, and with CT scan, fat is present and measures about minus, um, less or minus uh, 10 HU. And uh, on MRI, it is present. And lesion management, it is observation. Fat bull angiomyeloma, it is in the intermediate on ultrasound. And CT is fat 
absent and MRI fat is present. Fat invisible is isoechoic on ultrasound and absent on MRI and CT scan of the fat and need to be biopsy. And this should be differentiated from papillary renal cell carcinoma, renal, papillary renal cell carcinoma and ball fat wall should be differentiated from a clear cell carcinoma. Here, this is again fat rich angiomyeloma. It is marked the hyperechoic on ultrasound and fat ball, it is slightly hyperechoic and fat invisible is isoechoic. And on CT scan, non-enhanced CT scan, it is hypoattenuated, heterogeneous isoattenuated or hyperattenuated, and homogeneous hyperattenuated. On T1 MRI on fat rich, it is signal loss on fat submission. And here it is plus minus signal loss on fat submission. And here in fat invisible, no signal loss on fat submission. On T2, it is hyper intense in the fat rich, and it is heterogeneous, homogeneous, hyper intense, or homogeneous, hyper homogeneously high bone intense. And chemical shift imaging decreased signal intensity in fat rich and fat poor and no decreased signal intensity in fat invisible. Here again the summary of what we said and look at uh, and we have the three types of sporadic, the triphasic angiomyeloma, it is contain the classical type, as we discussed, and the fat ball and the fat invisible in these two. And here, this is the syndromic, syndromic fat uh, syndromic angiomyeloma associated either with tuberosis sclerosis complex or lymph angiomyeloma. Let us see some examples. Here, ultrasound in 64 years old woman has mass, hyperechoic mass on the right above ball kidney, and we see in the Dubler ultrasound the uh, the mass has feeding artery around the fat rich angiomyeloma. Here, another patient with angiomyeloma, classic type, and we see hyperechoic mass lesion. And this is the corresponding CT scan. We see that mass. It is with fat density reaching minus 60 HU. Here another patient with the classic type angiomyeloma. This is non-enhanced CT scan. And we see the mass containing fat with a heterogeneous enhancement. Here, a patient with fat ball angiomyeloma, non enhanced CT scan, it is hyperattenuating, and in the CT after contrast, it is homogeneous enhanced, and also on the T2, it is hyper intense in the T2 and the specimen of this patient it is shows that angiomyeloma with a smooth cell, a smooth muscle. Another patient with ball fat ball fat ball angiomyeloma it is iso attenuating on the non enhanced CT scan and here it is uh, mass uh, seen with uh, uh, homogeneously enhanced 
and reaching about 78 HU and on, on MRI the mass it is uh, iso attenuated on the in phase and after phase little bit uh, decrease uh, in the signal intensity of the mass. And on the T2, the masses become uh, become hypo intense. Here, another patient with angiomyeloma with epithelioid cells, uh, epithelioid cyst. Here, patient with angiomyeloma, multiple angiomyelibomas, and patient with tuberosis sclerosis. Another patient with multiple bilateral angiomyelibomas with tuberosis sclerosis. And these are fat rich and angiomyeliboma. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.